What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about the number one knot you should be using for your walk the dog style topwaters. I see a lot of people using the wrong knots and you're actually losing out on action. And with the proper knot, you're gonna end up getting more strikes because your lure walks better, it keeps the weeds off more, and it is just an overall better presentation, which again, translates into more strikes. Now, the mistake I see is a lot of people use this lure with their topwaters, which is just this average snug knot. There's a ton of different variations out there, but you can see the knot is really close to the swivel, a little bit of a tag here. And unfortunately, when we're using walk the dog style lures, we are going to be working the lure left and right using our rod tip. So when we put pressure on this knot here, we can see, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of flexibility. And while this does perform well in the strength tests for knot capabilities, it does not perform well in terms of how well it allows that lure to walk. Now, what you're going to want to use instead for your top water lures is one of these loop knots. You can see here, I've got the non-slip loop knot. There's a lot of it, different variations out there. The canoe man knot, the the cray loop knot. This one is again the non-slip loop knot and it is a very simple knot to tie and allows really great action on that lure. You can see allows a ton of freedom for that lure when we want it to walk and you can even see from underwater footage my lure is able to make a little bit wider of a head turn with these open loop knots. It just allows a little bit more freedom and it just it seems to attract a little bit more strikes when I'm out on the water versus the snug knot because that lure again is allowed to walk a little bit further which in turn also engages the rattle a little bit more. Now I'm sure you guys are curious to see exactly how this knot is is tied. Good news, it's actually really simple. And what I like to use in terms of my leader material is this Andy monofilament. I see a lot of people talk about needing fluorocarbon leaders. I don't feel it's as big of a deal for topwater lures. Um, and especially with the monofilament, it floats a little bit better. So I find that it is a little bit more apt to the topwater presentations. And I don't find that I need anything more than 20 pound, especially for most inshore game fish species. Now to show you guys really quickly how this is tied, it's actually super simple. What you're going to want to do is get your uh, length of leader that you would like to use, double it over, run the tag end through there, and you're going to cinch down that little knot right there. So what you don't want to do is close it all the way up, and you're going to take this and run it through the eye of your top water, and then run it back through. And as you're going to see, these circles have a up and a down side. What you want to do first off to do this loop knot is run it through the down side of the loop. And what you're going to do is cinch that down towards the eye, take that tag in and wrap it twice. So one, two, and find the upside, as you guys can see here, I've got it tilted towards the upside and run that back through right there and just guide it all the way till it cinches down, pull it tight. And you guys can see you've got a really nice little loop knot there where this really comes in handy, especially when you trim that tag is that it allows the lure to be pretty much virtually weedless, which is great when you're fishing close to mangrove shorelines that may have some floating grass near them or any other structure that you don't wanna get snagged up on while still keeping a nice, strong connection. I hear a lot of people talk about how the loop knot is not a very strong knot and you don't wanna use it. I can tell you from personal experience that I've caught some really big redfish on this and in fact, recently was able to catch a really big jack, as you guys can see here, just using an average topwater spook, getting a good walk with it. That fish hopped right on it and I fought it for a really long time again just on your average small little loop knot and it was a pretty big fish and it held up just fine uh, in terms of strength so i highly recommend you guys use this knot it is fantastic in terms of action and strength and if you want to learn how to become a better fisherman with topwater lures and save up to 20 percent on a lot of the lures you're seeing here and this andy monofilament leader line i highly recommend you join us in the salt strong insider club where you can receive 20 percent off of all this stuff while learning how to become a better fisherman at the same time so i'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the salt Salt Strong Insider Club. So if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you'll be catching more fish in less time while saving money on your tackle. We do this by providing you with premium education, an exclusive online fishing community, and access to group discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. We hope to see you in the Insider Club family soon.